Yeah, this is Jason with Eastern Star Small Engine Old School Mechanic. Had a guy bring in a walker. Could have blown head gaskets. You can actually hear it whistling when it would shut down. So um, this is uh, common on the Kohler motors. <clears throat> the Briggs and Strattons will do this as well. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the mill. Uh, we put this on the flat surface of the table and we're gonna run this across and see if this is flat. Um, see if we've got a warp, see possibly why this head gasket is blown. Just a good, good way to do it, just to make sure that you don't have any problems in the future. We did see a problem with the exhaust valve as well. Uh, the guide is bad. So we're going to oversize these guides and put oversized valves in it. Um, I know this is a machine that a lot of people don't have, and I just kind of want to show you this is what we can do. And uh, I'd always take these heads to a machine shop to get this done. So I bought this machine so I don't have to run downtown, you know, make a trip down there, trip back, trip down, pick them up and one thing or another. But we're gonna start uh, working this and we'll make a couple passes and we'll show you what we got. You wanna take off just as little bit as possible. You don't wanna you just want to barely start hitting it. Okay, see, now barely started taking some off. We're going to run completely across this. I'm just going slow. This is aluminum head. So it's very soft. So we just want to make sure this is flat. Now, once I make this pass across there, you'll see the shiny part, but if you've got a low spot, it'll stay dark. Now, there's different kinds of machines that can surface these heads, but this is just the way I do it here. It doesn't take that long to get it set up. And I want to come, I come completely across I don't have an auto feed, so I just work it by hand. So we're not taking much off right now. Probably only taking off of maybe about two or three thousand. Like I say, I just go slow. It makes a good clean head. It'll seal it up real good. We're looking pretty good. This head probably could have went, but we just want to make sure this is a landscaper and he depends on these machines for his living. So we want to just make sure that we don't have any problems. He doesn't have breakdowns in the middle of the year when we're getting getting rain every week he's got to be able to go so we want him to be able to go I got just a little bit here on the edge I got to get yet I'll come out here just a little bit more we'll make another pass just to clean up that edge This cutter I have on here, it's got uh, it's got cutter teeth on it, and it really does a pretty good job. This, but this machine that does precision goes by thousands of an inch.
I've seen some heads take 24 thousandths to clean up because somebody's taken a file to them and filed them, but you can never get them flat. You're, I'm sure there's somebody out there, out there that's that good. But I'm not that good. So, so we look good and flat. We've got it all cleaned up. What's up? I want to show you here is I bolted it to the table. Okay, this table is flat. So the top of this head is flat. And I did the same thing on the other side. I just use these clamps to hold it down. That way I know I'm flat and I can run my cutter across here and get this head cleaned up. And I think that's gonna seal up real good. It, it's not perfectly smooth. You don't want it perfectly smooth. You want a little bit so the gasket will have something to hang on to. So that's how I mill a head here at Eastern Star. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, I wanna show you the setup process that I do. I make sure everything's taken out of the valve springs, um, everything, even the uh, intake seal is taken out of it. Because all, all this is flat. I set it on my table. I'm gonna turn this around. And you have to have something to anchor down to so I use those two little tabs. So I don't get real rough with this head because it is aluminum and you can break it. So I just get that tightened down there. This bolt likes to slip a little bit, so it doesn't have to be super tight. Just get it to where it's, it'll set still. This head is going on the same machine. Eh? We might have a problem here. So we want to check this head out too. All right, I'm gonna turn on the machine. We're gonna start getting close. Run this dial back around here. Get it back to zero so I can kind of see how much I'm taking off. Okay, it looks like we've, we're starting to hit. 